Great Sunday, Mike. Great Sunday. I was just watching something about Jesus. Issa. Talking about his travels, where he was gone between the times of like 12 and 13 and 29 when he showed back up to start his ministry. And all this. And it shows him he's on the Silk Road. The one of the questions they're asking at that time, could that kind of long journey have happened? Uh, yeah, the Silk Road. It's still there. I've been on it. Once, maybe even twice. I was just outside of Baghdad, close enough to attack, when they, uh, what do you call it, they gave up, surrendered, stopped the fight, and they said, war's over, go home. And it's like, ah, I was right there outside of Baghdad, Al Basra, staying in the damn deserts in there, and, uh, there is a sign I'm standing next to all grubby in this very jacket. And I'm like, ha, ah, looking like that. And, and it was funny to me, I'm standing next to a Baghdad sign. This is Baghdad, you know, however long. And uh, it's like, and I'm all grubby. That's the only reason I took the picture. It had been raining, so it was obvious how grubby I was because the dust is washing off, yeah. So I was right there on the Silk Road there. But then later on my own, I ended up in Tibet. In 2003, on a sacred pilgrimage, it wasn't of my choosing. I just went along with it because I was going that way. And then again, in 2006, Seems like it must have been 2006. Uh, I had uh, been in Jiayuguan, uh, where Chairman Mao had said, there's no man's a great man unless he makes it to Jiayuguan. That's where the temple is there, right at the end of the Great Wall, the beginning of the Great Wall, whichever one you want to call it. where they exile people out into the Gobi, you know, it's right there at the edge of the Gobi Desert. And um, I was there and I walked to get out there. Oh, what did I walk? I walked on the Silk Road. I was on the Silk Road walking without my camera. So I was on the Silk Road and it exists. And it's a dirt road that looks about the same as it would have 2,000 years ago. So is it possible? Yes. I've also been at the tour where they say that, that there was blood from Christ was sent there. At the tour in Avalon, Glastonbury, another one of the power points on the planet Earth, the ziggurat. I'm sure uh, fucking Jesus went out of his way to see the ziggurat on the way at the city of Ur. That's all biblical stuff. This is stuff he's trying to add his own thing to this story. Uh, he's not trying to wipe it out. He's trying to say there's more. So he would have stopped through there. I've been there. Those two PowerPoints, the Torah and the Ziggurat at the city of Ur. Uh, all that's left is that cathedral in France. And there are some that say in there somewhere that they don't talk about it today, but that he, he had traveled even as far as the lands of the French. But you know, it was probably overrun by barbarians and Meningivians or whatever, the Merovingians, whatever the hell they are, his relatives, they wouldn't have been there yet. But so then he talks about how he had to wait and he sent John the Baptist, who I think was his cousin, ahead of him and he said he comes and he brings my message 
and and it's like that was in the time when Jesus could have come as the lion or the lamb and he came as the lamb to give us a chance see so he had John the Baptist run around baptizing people whereas me Judas I do marials and burials but I don't do baptisms unless it's in my own blood so I, I am not pushing the baptism anymore if Jesus is coming back and here I am Judas waiting He's coming back as the lion. This is his time you need to watch out. See, Judas, I pretty much what I'm doing is I'm here to clear his name. He never wanted to rule anything. But if he saw something he liked, he was willing to deal with it. In the manner which would make it work, in his opinion, the best. As long as he's not getting lied to. But, uh... Judas is not anybody that was trying to rule him. Judas was the, was the Joker, the Jungian Joker in all of us. Except, well, no except. He was just that. He was the guy that we think is dark and, and is just too straight to the point. It makes him inhumane, but it's totally humane. He, he needs to get to the point and he's willing to help. And that's what this is. So right now is Isa coming back through the mountains of Tibet, making his way our way, using me to talk about his coming. Is this the time? Da she dele posum to